This method provides a tool for scientists to study environmental genetic factors that affect sperm migration and behavior in their native environments inside the female reproductive tract. The main advantage of this technique stems from the transparent epidermis of the C. elegans, which allows experimenters to easily visualize and record sperm movement in live animals. To begin, use a worm pick made from a Pasteur pipette and platinum wire flattened on one end to pick 20 to 30 L4 stage hermaphrodites and gently place them onto a 6 cm seated NGM plate. Incubate the hermaphrodites at 20 degrees Celsius for 28 to 30 hours. Next, make a male staining plate. Use the end of a glass stirring rod to scrape E. coli from the bacterial lawn of a seated plate and deposit it onto the center of an unseated NGM plate, making a 5 to 7 mm diameter food dot. Mix together 2 microliters of 1 millimolar mito dye in DMSO and 10 microliters of M9 buffer in a microcentrifuge tube. Pipette all of the mito dye solution onto the food dot on the male staining plate. Place the plate in the dark to dry for 30 minutes. Under a microscope, on a plate containing 1-3 to three day old adult C. elegans, identify the males by their fan-shaped tail. Pick approximately 100 males to the mito dye stained food dot on the male staining plate. Wrap the plate in aluminum foil and incubate overnight at 16 degrees Celsius. On the second day, transfer the stained males onto a new seated NGM plate to clean off excess mitodye stained.